Hey, uh, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43, and I'm here to give you the month of December, your 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Aries. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much love, hope, joy, peace, and happiness. Welcome, welcome back, my Aries. You guys rock. I do appreciate all of you guys. Welcome back, my lovely Aries. If you guys are cross watchers, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us here. Please remember that, remember that when it comes to tarot, oracle, pendulum, intuitive, coffee cup, any kind of readings, all readings, that it is important that you guys focus on the energy and the messages. Never, ever force a reading. What's for you will be for you, as you already know. What is not, please leave behind as it may serve to be helpful and beneficial for somebody else. You can always forward it to them and share it with them. I do greatly appreciate that as well. Okay. Always, first and foremost, go to our Heavenly Father, God, Jesus Christ your beautiful angels, your incredible spiritual teams and families. They got you. They guide you. They love you. Keep God first and foremost at all times. Serve him well. Keep him close. Keep him first. Pray daily, often. God is with you. Believe in him, trust him, and know him and serve him. That is the right way. Be Christ-like. Believe in yourselves. Listen to your intuitions. It will serve as an amazing guidance for you guys, a navigation for you. Trust in your intuition. Listen to your discernment. Okay, you guys have that. Utilize it. All right? Remember, your intuition is a definite connection to source, to your angels, to God, to, to Jesus as well. And always do what's best for you and your family members to the best of your ability. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you guys so much for helping me grow my channel. Thank you so much for your love and light and support. I'm very thankful for you guys. Please always know that. In my description box, if you guys click more below this video, you guys will see my description box. In it, I have information about the services that I offer as a life coach and tarot card reader. I also have information about like ACP programs, discounts on different things that could be in your area, in your city, your state, wherever you are. If the information about scholarships, discounts, and different things I have down there, grant information, go for the grants over the loans. If any of that information does not resonate for your city or state, check to see if they have something like that near yours. Call, find out, email. There's, it's nothing wrong with getting information. You never know who is guiding you to your next blessing, but you guys have to ask questions. Okay, inquiries are important. Get answers. There's comfort and confirmation. All right. Everything has been prayed and meditated on. I'm doing a formation start of the sea. If you guys want to know the decks I'm using, please go back to the old archives like a year or two ago. Um, I left all of my videos up. Hopefully they're still there. They should be. Or if you can't find them or you want to know just directly real quick, I will be happy to tell you which decks I'm using because I've used these um, three before that I'm using in this uh, reading. I hope all of you guys had a fabulous and fantastic Thanksgiving full of lots of turkey and love and dressing or uh, stuffing, whatever it is that you guys eat. I'm celebrating all traditions and just spending time with your kids and loved ones and enjoying all the desserts and festivities, laughing, playing board games. Some of you guys um, go have um, cookouts and barbecues, whatever it is that you guys did. I hope it was successful, safe, and very, very happy. All right. I hope you guys had a lot of happiness there. I wish you all a happy and Merry Christmas for those who celebrate. The gift of giving is a reward in itself. Receive Take yourself out. Give yourself a gift too. Remember to celebrate you and your milestones. You matter. And just know that this is the way we show godly love by giving to others from the heart space, a phone call, a text, a note, a gift, a gesture, a candy cane, even, you know, a card, a pie, whatever it is, just showing love, reaching out, sending a text that's really pretty, full of like all these cool emojis or just a prayer for somebody these things matter. Okay. That's how we raise the vibration of the earth. So I hope that you guys have a Merry Christmas for those who celebrate. And for those who don't celebrate, pick a day to celebrate your family members and friends. All right. That's always um, needed in this world today. We need to share and spread love and happiness and being friendly. All right. Let's jump into your reading. Aries, the overall energy is friendships. And I am highly guided to let you guys know, please go check out the Leo reading. Please watch the re Leo reading. I don't remember if this card came out in that reading, but this card, this friendship card keep coming out. Friendships with an S. So you guys may want to check um, Scorpio, Virgo, of course, Leo, Cancer, Taurus, or Aquarius reading. You guys are the seventh reading that I'm doing right now. And um, 
a lot of people are getting this. So people are longing to spend time with friends and we're in a transitional place in this world where people are attracting new friends, new friendships, new love, new lovers, new people. A lot of moving on energy is here. You know, there's going to be some changes in friendships. Maybe some people come, some people go, some people only stay for a season for some reasons, and then they're moved out the way. You know, God will elevate to you, to your next tribe. Okay. And then maybe some old friends may resurface from back in the day, or maybe you'll reconnect with a friend you haven't heard of. Maybe they're flying in for the season or just to hang out with you or to celebrate Christmas and the holidays. But um, you're going to be spending more time with friends or you're being urged to. And this is the kind of people you really trust. You can leave your drink around and trust it. The people you can, you know, set your purse down. Nothing's ever stolen out of your wallet or your purse. People you can trust with your secrets. They never tell them. People who you just have a good time. You're comfortable. You're relaxed. It's fun. It's friendly. It's respectful. It's high vibrational. These are the kind of people to surround yourself with, people who are success-driven. You're letting go of toxic friends and toxic people. And this could be exes, lovers, twin flames, soulmates, anybody who does not serve your highest good. It's time to let go of them and do what makes you happy and enjoy life more with people who are like-minded, okay, who share in the values you share in. What's representing you guys is the moon. I feel like you guys are moving in secret or you guys have a secret it also could be somebody bringing you some information that's not disclosed yet. So somebody could be confiding in you. This card can also represent hopes and fears. I know we just recently had a full moon as well. So make a wish under these moon cycles, especially when they're um, full moons and stuff. Blow out a candle, um, go outside, make a you know wish under the moon as you feel best. But this is definitely an intuitive card. Right now, your intuition is telling you something major. You need to make sure that you really think this over and pray about it with God. They're sending these signs and signals in. I'm hearing signals heavy for a reason, okay? For a major reason. It's coming in intense. You guys may be feeling some intense emotions at this time. Emotions. So you may be um, drawn to um, to purge a little bit, cry a little bit, to release. It's a new year coming up. But definitely pray under the moon and stars, okay? I feel like, I feel like one of your wishes are going to be granted. And that's a good thing. But proceed with caution with who you share secrets with, okay? Deception is here and also a hidden truth. So a lot of truths coming out at this time. Like I said, as we close out this 2023 year going into 2024, a lot of people um, maybe trying to cling on to you or a lot of truths coming out, a lot of confessions coming out. Just remember, confessions come out not always um, straight up. Sometimes, you know, especially these narcs out here, these narcissists, they give confessions and truths through lying on you and others. So definitely read between the lines think before you act or react and um, move in silence is what I'm getting. Listen to your intuition and move in silence. Whatever's done in the dark that is not of the light, not of the good will come out. Like somebody's about to get caught up in a trap, like their secret is about to be exposed or secrets. I feel like an S. You guys will be relocating and this could be a um, secret of yours. This could be something you know that's coming. God may have showed you your next home, your next house, your next residence, or the area. Maybe you're living by mountains or by water, by snow. Um, this could be a secret you guys need to hold on to for your safety and for um, just for your safety and protection is what I'm hearing. Because the people who are toxic are going to want to jump on the bandwagon and they're not allowed. So you need to use that discernment. That's why you have to talk to your angels. You have to listen to God. If God told you to pack your clothes, pack your suitcase, get your paperwork in order, do it. It's time to declutter. It's time to clean up. As you could, you know, if you live with people, you know you're about to make a move and you feel like it's best to do it safely. Keep your safety first. Keep your safety first. I'm being um, guided to say this again. Keep your safety first, Aries. Do what's best for you at this time. So if you have to jump ship and move, people may not know what you're doing. If you're just straightening up and cleaning up the house, they may think you're getting ready for the holidays and you probably are, but wink, wink, hence, hence in the back, you know that it's more to it than that. So move in silence, especially if you're about to make a big leap, do what's safe first, get yourself out first. You know, if they have to fight out through the grapevine, that's just too bad. You know, your safety needs to be first. There is going to be a change in the home. Somebody could be abruptly moving out. If this isn't you moving, there is movement in the home. For some of you, you're definitely moving. God is elevating you to bigger and better things. I don't know if it's going to come by way of a lottery or a gift or you saved your money or, or you know, you've just been planning this. But the time I'm hearing is now and it's coming in fast. So if you don't have plans to relocate, it's coming. Some of you guys definitely need to pack your bags. Okay. 
some of you guys are going to be moving for work, getting a new job, or somebody else is moving out. Maybe they have a new love interest. They want to start a family, have a baby. They fell in love, or it could be you. But I feel like relocation is here. So somebody is moving to a new place. Could be a new city. Could be in the same city or state. Could be different. Could be abroad. But some there's major movement here. Major things happening in the house. And what's triggering this is round and round. Being stuck in the same cycles of people not going anywhere. People not elevating. They're not growing. They're not financially stable. People who dangle the carrot over your over your head, over your mouth of, I might help you with the bills. I might not, you know, this month they're helpful. In the next three months, they're on drugs or drunk and tripping and cheating and blowing money and gambling. So you're sick of unhealthy patterns being on repeat. You're over it. You're done with it. Okay. You don't want to repeat an old story. You guys are applying the lessons learned. You know, it's time to go. Because it's either they have to go or you have to go. And a lot of these leeches, they don't like to leave because they enjoy making you miserable. They enjoy unhappiness. They enjoy not giving you peace. And you're finding out when they're not home or you're busy away at work, you have more peace around other people who love you and support you than when you come home. If you don't have peace or you feel like a prisoner in your home, something has got to give here. You have to go or they have to go. But like I said, keep your safety first. Contracts is here. So yeah, you guys will be signing on the dotted line. Please make sure you guys have lawyers that you read the fine print very thoroughly and very carefully. Do those checkoff sheets, especially if you're moving into a home. Ask about the perks, okay? Ask about, you know, the neighbors, the neighborhood. You know, if you are scared of dogs or something, do not, you know, just go look for a house and everybody on the block got these huge dogs. Maybe you can deal with the little ones. You know, it depends, you know, whatever matters to you. If you need a backyard, you need a front yard, you need a gate. You know, some things, of course, you can put up later yourself. But if you don't feel right in that neighborhood, don't don't move there, even if the price is right. If you, you know, need to do background checks to see if there's criminals in the neighborhood and you find there's some too close to you, then don't move there. You guys need to make sure you review things very carefully. What's the plumbing like? You know, when was the last time the roof was done? You know, what are the incentives, incentives and um, the perks if it's an apartment or a townhouse? OK, how much are HOA fees? You know, can I afford this place comfortably? So do what's best for you. And I am here for a small few of you. You guys are going to a shelter like a men's or women's shelter. I don't know if they have a men's shelter, but I'm sure there's something or somebody who may help you. You know, what I'm getting is some kind of hotline. Call the hotlines and find out. But definitely there's women's shelters for uh, women and kids who are battered and abused or on the run because of, you know, somebody is uh, being really evil towards them and they just can't stay there anymore. So, um do what's best, do what's safe for you guys. That's for a small few. But there will be an agreement between people. So maybe you guys are selling a house. People could be splitting up, going their separate ways or joining in to partner up and getting a home together. So that's awesome as well. But make sure if you're signing applications for jobs, careers, homes, that you guys ask tons of questions about what everything involves. Does it come with a 401k plan? Does it come with retirement? Does it come with uh, what does it come with? Okay. You want the best that you can get. Okay. But I feel like this move will be good. I feel like it's for a good reason. Like it's time. I feel like it's divinely guided. Okay. People around you, this is family members and friends. There's some unfinished business here. So somebody needs to make sure. And I believe Taurus got this. I'm not sure where, but they got this card as well. Somebody needs to make sure they're tying up loose ends. They need to make sure they're not leaving things in the air. They need to know if somebody's using their name for, um, let's say, a reference or something like that. You give people heads up. It goes and vice versa. Let people know a quick text, a quick phone call. Hey, I'm looking for a job. Can I put you down for a reference? This person may be calling. Oh, sure. Give people heads up, even if it's just a call or a text um, or email. You know, Let people know what's going on. But there's something where, with money or somebody not fully taking care of business around you. It could be a Taurus. It don't have to be. but Or in your family. It could be a Leo, too, because that Leo was coming in heavy directly before I press play. I mean, press a record to start your reading. So, you know, things left unresolved. So there's people who need to resolve some things. And this could also be you, too. Take out resonates, but see things through. Get things done close things out, finalize, finalize, finalize. Thank you, spirit. That word was coming to me before I started your reading as well, right before, I mean, millisecond. And here it is, it come back. So thank you, God, uh, for bringing it back. Karmic cycle, yeah, you guys are leaving it. You're done with the round and round. There's no growth. You feel like this, I'm hearing this person, 
Wow, I'm hearing the word heaven. You feel like this person is not heavenly. You feel like this person is ungodly, like sadistic. Oh no, this is an evil soul. This is somebody who sold their soul. Yeah, this is giving me narc, psychopath, sociopath. This is somebody who they keep getting worse by the day. You know this. This is why a lot of you have to go. You have to cut the rope. You have to break the chain. You have to cut loose and break away. Okay, your safety, your kid's safety is at stake. Even if you have to leave everything you have in that house other than your life and your kid's life, you leave and take your kids and do it. Do what's safe. Because there's some kind of horrible karmic relationship was here. This person have negative patterns. They're in a negative cycle and they keep repeating like a lot, like a, um, like a dryer, like in the laundry, like a dryer going round and round and round, but they never stop. They get worse. And what happens if you keep, you know, putting quarters in or you keep the dryer on, it's going to keep going. If there's no timer to stop it or for people who have to pay, you know, through publicly in through the public, if you go to a public laundromat, you have to pay. As long as you pay, it's going to keep going until it breaks. This person will hit rock bottom at some point. They will break. You already see them as broken. There's no personal growth with them. However, you guys have outgrown them. You know they're a narcissist. You know you know they're a lost soul. You know they're a faker. You know they're fake. They're pretending. They're lost. And you know at this point, they choose to be. It's a, it's a, the, the choice is crystal clear for you. You know. So you guys are on to bigger and better things. Better friends a new love interest, um, calling in master, you know, you're calling in mastery levels for yourself, better, higher. Okay. Like a soulmate, a healthy one. You're calling in true friends, healthy ones, happier ones. Okay. People that's winning and you will have more spirits going to bless you guys with more options and opportunities. And these people will be left behind and be more jealous and more envious than they are now, but the less they know, the better it is. For them, it's better to keep them in confusion, and this is why you guys do need to listen to your intuition. It's going to be heightened. Definitely listen to it on a very high level because you guys do have good news coming in. God is releasing you guys from burdens of these people. They're too toxic. These places is too toxic. I would say sage your homes, do your um, spiritual baths, pray um, often, daily. When you wake up before you go to bed, pray calling your angels and definitely get organized. Spirit wants you guys to evaluate. It says, raise your consciousness to be more positive, resist negativity, release toxic people and things. Absolutely. That's coming through heavy. Your affirmation is I let go of drama and find happiness. This is what you're here to do. This is part of your purpose right here, right now. Get rid of clutter, clean rooms, make space, mental space, physical space. Okay. Your mental space, when these people leave, you guys, I feel like you guys have suffered narcissistic abuse. When these people leave, it's time to heal. It's time to heal now, but especially when they're gone, you're going to move them out the way and you're going to insert mentally, physically, and emotionally room for new ideas, better things. You get yourself in realignment, renewing, releasing. This is where you are healing, elevating. Okay. Like it says, elevate. This is what you guys are here to do. Elevate. It's elevate, heal, and move. Let go of drama so you can be your happiest self. Okay? God is giving you the space to invest in your future, your success, and your happiness. You guys deserve to be happy and free and safe and loved. It starts with God and you. That's the way. Blessings are here for you guys. Love it. Okay. Give thanks to God and do what's best for you and your family. Take that to heart. That's what I'm here to take. Take that to heart. People who are not of the light, they have to be removed or you have to leave them behind. Either way, it's removal time. It's release time. You guys got this. You can do it. Stay in prayer and do what's best. Think before you react and always do what's best. Not what people want. Not what they don't want. But what you do feel is best and know intuitively, instinctively, prayerfully. You got this. You can do it. And blessings are ahead for you. And they're coming in. Big ones. Okay, Aries, this has been your reading for the month of December, your 2023. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you, as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you guys so much love and support, hope and happiness, and of course, abundance and blessings at all times. 
I wish you all a very Merry Christmas for those who celebrate. I hope it's happy, merry, and bright, and everything is safe and lovely. Do what's best for you guys. Love and light, prayers, blessings, and thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Bye, Aries.